So this video is about our second change in religion, which is a gradual move towards a more personal religious experience. And we're going to use the figure of St. Francis of Assisi to talk about that change. So you may have encountered St. Francis before, especially if you come from a Catholic family. Today, St. Francis is associated with animals. He's often associated with the blessing of animals services that are held at some churches, usually on or near the Feast of St. Francis. And you might have seen St. Francis bird baths or bird feeders that are in people's front yards. St. Francis was a monk who lived in the late medieval period, and he espoused a new idea of what it meant to be a monk. Previously, monks and nuns were typically the children of the upper classes, and their lives were often very comfortable, especially compared to the peasants. They maybe wore simple clothing, but the quality was good, and they ate a rich and varied diet, especially when we compare them to the peasants. St. Francis starts an order of monks called the Franciscan monks, and their goal is to imitate the life of Christ. They live a very simple life. They take vows of poverty. And part of this idea is that they increasingly personalize the religious experience. The important part of religion for a Franciscan monk is his individual relationship with God. And this idea probably doesn't seem that unusual to us today. Most major modern Christian denominations also discuss the importance of a personal or individual relationship with God. However, at the time, this was quite revolutionary. If you think about what going to church was like in the late medieval period, the church service was only in Latin. And while it was something you would have heard, heard your whole life, so you might recognize pieces or have it memorized, you wouldn't know the meaning, probably, of everything that was being said, or maybe even anything that was being said depending on how intelligent you were and what your experiences had been. Also in the late medieval period, religious faith was largely shown through acts. You showed you were a good Christian by showing up at church, by participating in the ceremonies of the church. And St. Francis says all of that stuff is less important than that you feel in your heart, like you have a relationship with God. So this is a new way of looking at religion, that it's less about the high officials, people like the Pope. So here we see the impact of things like the Great Schism, that maybe those high church officials aren't quite so important anymore. And we see a more individual form of religion developing so that what you feel to be right, what you feel like God is calling you to do is the most important idea. And like I said, many of the modern Christian denominations, including Protestant denominations, continue to follow these ideas even today. The other reason that St. Francis is important and the way we get this connection with animals that we see in our modern world is that St. Francis preaches the beauty of the natural world as God's creation. So he says everything around us in the world is beautiful because it was created by God. And this is important to artists because it opens the door for artists to try to recreate the world around them as exactly as they can, and to do so in a way that shows their faith in God. If we think about the art of the medieval period, the message or the symbolism of the art is far more important than how it looks. Starting in the Renaissance, we start to see a move back towards naturalism. And part of that is this idea that it's okay to show the natural world as it is, because that still honors God. 
Our next video talks about the last change that causes the beginning of the Renaissance, which is humanism.